Congratulations. You've made a great decision in choosing the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat for your home. You will soon be on your way to having the convenience of home comfort control at your fingertips. This video will walk you through how to install your new thermostat. If at any time you need assistance, visit wifithermostat.com slash help and support or call 1-855-733-5465. There are three main parts to this process. Remove the old thermostat. Mount and connect the new thermostat. Set up the thermostat functions. Before you begin installation, check to make sure you have everything you need from the package. Thermostat, quick start guide, user guide, wall anchors and mounting screws, wire labels, and the thermostat ID card. You will need this to register your thermostat with Total Connect Comfort Services later. Refer to the user guide for the tools you may need. Remove your old thermostat. First, to protect your equipment, switch off the power to your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or at the system switch near your heating and cooling system. Next, remove your old thermostat, but keep the wall plate with the wires attached. Most thermostats will pop off when pulled, but others might have screws holding the thermostat onto the wall plate. Once you can see the wall plate and the wires, you will need to check to make sure this thermostat will work with your system. If your thermostat has thick wires with wire nuts connecting them, you most likely have baseboard heat or a line voltage system. The Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat will not work on a line voltage system. However, you can visit wifithermostat.com to find the right thermostat for your home. Under your thermostat, you will see different colored wires connected to lettered wire terminals. You'll want to remember which wires are connected to which terminals on your old wall plate so you can match them up with the same terminals on your new wall plate. To help you remember, it is a good idea to take a photo of your wires before you disconnect them. Let's take a look at your wiring and determine the wiring installation to follow. Okay, rather than requiring batteries, which could run out, this Wi-Fi thermostat requires a wire to run from your heating and cooling system to power your thermostat. This is most commonly referred to as the C wire. The C wire is connected to the C terminal on your thermostat. If you don't see a C wire, a few other options are available. Refer to wifithermostat.com slash installation videos to view videos that explain those alternative wiring options. If you have a C wire, let's continue installing your Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. Before you label and disconnect the wires at your old thermostat, you need to identify your current wires and system type. When looking at your wires, you may see the following situations. You may have a heat pump system that has different lettered terminals. If you have wires connected to the O or B terminals, you may have a heat pump system, and it will be helpful to refer to the wiring section of your user guide. You may notice a wire that looks like this, known as a jumper wire. If you have a jumper wire, take note of which terminals it is connecting. Often, jumper wires will need to be transferred to your new thermostat for proper function. However, your Wi-Fi thermostat comes with a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals, which should be kept unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both of these wires, you can remove the jumper wire from the new thermostat. Next, use the supplied sticky tags to label each wire according to the letter on the terminal in which it is inserted. Do not label the wires based on their color because wire color does not necessarily indicate the wire's function. After labeling your wires, use a screwdriver to loosen the terminals and pull the wires out. Now you can remove the wall plate of your old thermostat. When removing it, take care to ensure none of the wire labels fall off and that none of the wires fall through the wall opening. Here's a helpful hint. You might want to wrap the wires around a pencil to prevent them from falling back through the wall after you remove your old wall plate. Mount and connect the new thermostat. Now it is time to begin installing your new thermostat. First, separate the Wi-Fi thermostat from its wall plate. You'll want to set the thermostat aside and begin mounting the wall plate. Position it so the wire hole is centered and pull the wires through the hole. 
now is a good time to verify it is level. Using a pencil, mark the positions of both screw holes on the wall. If you don't already have holes in the areas you marked, you'll want to make pilot holes for the screws and anchors. If you are mounting the thermostat on drywall or plaster, use the drill bit indicated in your user guide. Once you have pilot holes, use a hammer to tap the anchors into the pilot holes. After inserting the anchors, it's time to attach the wall plate. Position the wall plate so its holes are over the anchors and insert the screws. You can use a screwdriver or drill to tighten the screws. If you want, you can also level the wall plate again before tightening up the screws. You will see that your new Wi-Fi thermostat has a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals. Keep this wire in place, unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both wires, remove the jumper wire and insert the wires into their respective terminals. At this point, all you need to do is connect the wires to the designated terminals on your new wall plate by inserting the wires into the terminals on the top of the terminal block and tightening up the screws. If you determined earlier that you have a heat pump system, match the labels on the wires to the letters indicated on the bottom of the terminals, then tighten the screws. Note that you still insert the wires into the terminals located on the top of the terminal block. Refer to the wiring section of your user guide or visit wifi thermostat.com slash help and support if you need assistance with wiring. After you've finished connecting all the wires, push any excess wire back into the wall opening. Now, fold and insert the quick reference guide into the slot on the back of the thermostat. Attach the thermostat to the wall plate by lining up the pins and snapping it into place. Switch the power back on for your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or the system switch. This should power up your thermostat's display, which will prompt you to set the date and time on the thermostat. Setting up the thermostat functions. Now that you have successfully installed the thermostat, set the date and time. Next, it is important that you set your heating and cooling system type so that your thermostat operates properly and does not damage your system while it is running. This thermostat is preset for a traditional single-stage heating and cooling system. If you have a heat pump, hydronic, or multi-stage system, you must change the system type by setting different options under function number one. If you don't know your heating and cooling system type, watch the Identify Your System Type video on wifi thermostat.com slash installation videos. To change your system type, press the fan and up button simultaneously for approximately three seconds. The screen will change to display two numbers and the button designations will change to done, back, and next. The number one should display on the left side of the screen and the number zero should display on the right side of the screen. To set your heating and cooling system type to something other than a traditional single-stage forced air system, which is signified by the number zero, refer to the system setup section of your user guide and use the up and down arrows to set the numbers on the right to the corresponding system type referred to in your user guide. When you've finished making changes, press Done to save and exit. Congratulations! You are now ready to start enrolling your thermostat with your home's Wi-Fi network. For assistance with this process, watch the Connect video on wifithermostat.com.